us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. We look at question 7. The sequence 20, 17, 14, dot, 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 is an arithmetic progression. Find the A, the ninth term, B, the sum of the first 10 terms. So again, this question always comes. So once you understand the key things, which is how to find the nth term and how to find the sum of a given terms, then this question becomes a walkover. Be less assured that you get some a minimum of three marks once you understand this uh, principle. So to answer this question, you need to remember this simple formula, which is we use to find question A. So we are saying the t, tth term, where is n is the nth term, which could be the fourth term, the third term, the ninth term in this case. So this one is equal to the first term, which is in this case a is equal to 20. So 20 is the first term, which is a. Then plus the n, which is the nth term, minus 1 times the difference. So you know, n in this case is equal to 9, because it's a ninth term. So we need to find d. How do you find the d? So to find d, it will be in this case, the second term minus the first term, we should be the same as the third term minus the second term. So it will be this one from 17, or 17 minus 20, then 14 minus 17. So if you say 17 minus 20, this should give me minus 3. Then this should be also be true if I say 14, which is the third term minus 17. I'll get minus 3. Because it's a constant difference. So that difference can be a positive or a negative. A positive it means it's increasing. A negative it means the sequence is decreasing. In this case, we are reducing from 14, from 20 to 14. So once we do this, it now is just a matter of substituting. So it will be T9, because it's ninth term, is equal to 20 plus. 9, because t because n is 9, minus 1, times negative 3. So we're going to have 20, then we're going to have plus, 9 minus 1 is 8, h times, so it will be 8 times negative 3, which will be 20, 8 times negative 3 is negative 24, so minus 24. This is going to give me, negative 4. So negative 4 is the answer on A. Once you do this, you are good to go and get that one mark. Then let us move to B. B is we find the sum of the first 10 terms. So I'll give you the other way you can answer this question if you don't know the formula. So let us use the formula. So I'll just create space. So to find the sum of n terms, we we'll use this formula, which is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d, then you multiply this. Now be careful that this is multiplying everything inside here after you simplify it. Make sure that you do that. If you notice the difference here, we're just introducing a 2. And this 2, the initial formula we use to find the nth term, this formula. If you notice this one, we're introducing a 2, like that. So if you remember one formula, then it should be easy to remember the other formula. Take note of the differences. Okay. So now let us 
substitute we are looking for the first 10 the first 10 terms so now n becomes 10 okay that's what it is so it will be s10 is equal to 10 divided by 2 then multiply by 2 times a a is 20 which is the first term remember what we did previously this is a then plus 10 minus 1 times negative 3 which is the difference remember we had already found this difference when we were answering question a which we found from this calculation I just want to ensure that you are with me so that we are together so 2 into 10 is a 5 then 2 times 20 is 40 then we have 10 minus 1 which is 9 9 times negative 3 is negative 27 like this then at this point we just simplify this we are going to get 5 then multiply by 13 the difference which is 40 minus 27 is 13 then this is going to give me 65 using a different cast what I emphasize so 65 is the answer so you get here you write 65 once you do this you are good to go you get these two marks if you can't remember the formula don't leave a question blank just use this because they're asking you to to give you the answers just give the answer so you have 20 then you have 17 then you have 14 so the difference is 3 14 minus in, uh, 3 is 11 so now let me use a different color this is 11 then minus 3 is 8 then minus 3 is 5 then minus 3 is uh, 2 then minus 1 then minus 4 you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then minus 7 so to find the ninth term you just come here look for the ninth term the ninth term will be will be this negative 4 remember we just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is the negative 4 that we found there then summing you just now start adding this one you add them to find the sum of the first 10 terms you add them when you add them you are going to get 65 then you come here and you put the answers don't leave it blank once you do that you still get the full marks but if you can show the working you see good so thank you for joining me in this episode join me in the next episode as we look at question 8